Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to be doing the Cinderella High Score Challenge. Bippity boppity boop, here we go. I want to talk about a little mistake I made in my last video. It was talking about the High Score Challenge medal and what it does. I got the description wrong. I was just, I don't know, I was out of it. So, what it really does is raise the strength and defense of all attributes, so not strength. There's a difference between strength buff and strength attribute buff. So this raises attributes. Everything I said in that video still applies. It's still really good to have this medal as an extra attack because having a times two attribute buff and pulling that over to the second turn, you have a times four attribute buff for anything. So even if you're using a keyblade for power, it works. For magic, it works. For speed, it works. So besides that, your illustrated Kyries two, the Kingdom Hearts two Kyries that we're pulling for right now. This medal right here, guys. Okay. So, what I really want to talk about this is the fact that people are putting this metal together. And the one major reason I see putting this metal together is getting yourself the Key Art 5, the Times 3 buffer for a speed slot. Now, that is really good if you don't have a Times 3 buffer, but for everybody else who's trying to min max this game, if you have two copies of these, I wouldn't recommend putting this together unless you really want that Key Art 5. If you don't want that Key Art 5, there is huge possibilities with this metal being separate. If you combine it and you get extra attack, you're golden. You're absolutely golden. You got super lucky, but not everybody's going to have that luck. My recommendation for Kyrie, this Kyrie you guys see on the screen right here, keep her separate like I kept my Jack and Sally separate. But that's just my recommendation. If you want the Key R5, do not forget you have to guilt this before the 25th. If you do not guilt this or Sora, then you're not going to get your Key R5. If you don't care about Key R5 and you care about trying to get the best out of your Keyblade setup, then definitely having her separate, like I kept my Jack and Sally separate all this time, is really, really, really good. So, my setup right here for this, now that I got the whole Illustrated Kairi and the whole raw description on the Cinderella for my mistake, I want to talk about how I made a score of 15 million and this is not the setup I used. This is not the setup I used. I'm going to use a run right now. I want to show you guys the difference of using one metal compared to another metal even though this metal seems better. So our main damage dealer which is going to get us all the points if you guys are new to the game, basically the more damage you do with one metal, the more of a score you will get. It doesn't matter if you have metals here and they do damage, it calculates your heaviest hitter so the metal that did the most damage is going to get you those points for each enemy i'm going to explain that as i go through this actual high score challenge since there's so many of you new out there i'm going to go over this for everybody but i want to show an example for even veteran players and players who've been playing a long time most of you know this but most of you don't as well here's zigbar the problem with zigbar deals six extremely powerful hits that ignores attributes so it's going to be super effective on every enemy but because it deals six hits and it's super strong you're losing a lot of score potential in the beginning of the quest and a lot of the halfway enemies. In the end enemies, like the helicopter fleet in this one, your Zigbar B is going to dominate, it's going to get you the best score possible, but the amount that you lost down the line is going to make up for that. I mean, is, you're, gonna, you're not going to make up for that. And having a metal that does one hit compared to six hits is going to make a world of a difference. So I just wanted to make this little run through here and then show you what I actually used. Now, yes, I should be switching my Kyrie and my Jack and Sally and my Iago so they don't do actual damage. I am going to do that for this setup, but when I change it back to the other setup, you guys are going to see that basically it is so much better to do it this way. So I do want my Jack and Sally not to do any damage, and I want Iago not to do any damage either. So this is totally fine. It doesn't matter where you put your Kyrie. She's going to do fixed damage no matter what the multiplier is. So sticking her there, you want to reduce as much damage as possible. So none of my medals are going to do proper damage except for Kyrie because she hits everybody equally no matter what. So here we go. I'm using the Divine Rose. My, uh, my setup personally is going to be ridiculous because I have extra attack 40%. Again, this is not really a guide to show you uh, perfect piling for free to plays or cheap to plays or anyone. A lot of people are not going to be able to copy this because of the trade system. Trade systems are going to break a lot of people's uh, scores. People who pay money in the game might get kicked out of top 1000 by a free to play player who got really lucky or vice versa. So it's very up in the air, but 
I rather do these high score challenge videos explaining to you exactly how these work and what I did and what I'm going to do. So I did, you guys notice it's my main account. I did pull. I got a Kyrie. That video's coming up or it might have came up already. I don't know what order I'm going to put it in. But here we go. This is what I'm going to use. It is 35% right now. I have no other uh, Iagos or Monstros. So that's all the percentage I have. There's no possibility of me getting more percentage. And I do not plan to pull anymore. 100% saving all my jewels. So what we're going to do, instead of getting like a Kyrie with second chance or a Kyrie with triple threats, I'm going to use a sword here to finish off the enemies my metal can't finish off, if that's a thing. So Zigbar B should be more than enough with this setup to actually take out everything, but just in case, a fully guilted, Sora, boosted, should be able to take this out. So let's get into this. I did start off with just using my Illustrated Belly Beast to make it simple for my next... Uh, comparison the comparison between this metal and another metal I'm not gonna reveal the metal yet I want to reveal that in the end of this run through right here so I'm gonna go straight forward just using my belly beast to take out these beginning guys and then carry on from there here's where I think I just got a little bit more tricky I ended up using belly beast for basically all of this the only thing is is that you're seeing me it's costing me a lot of SP I had Iago in the third slot before or a second slot before and that made a difference. So now I might not be able to activate Surrey Metals here. But here's where it's going to start making a difference. I got to make sure that I don't kill these guys. I want to keep one alive for my Zigbar and it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. I need to make sure I don't kill him here. He doesn't die. Perfect. Here we go. A couple hits. Now this isn't perfect. I can make it better than this. I can stop using my time suit buffer but uh, he has chips and dales and he's the one with the extra attack so I, I kind of lost out there. If he didn't have the chips on him for the extra boost of attack, these guys would have more HP. But it still stands on the difference of amount of damage I'm going to do. So again, I just want to restore some of my gauges here. So I'm going to get this one guy knocked out and then Zigbar is going to finish off one gun. Exactly what I did for my other setup. But again, my main damage dealer was a single hitter compared to a six hitter. And hopefully this explains it a little bit better to you why you guys should be looking for medals that you can complete everything with that has a single hit and very 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 high multiplier. So for this group right here is when it starts evening out, I can double buff. So now I have time six strength. Uh, again, it's not going to apply to everyone, but I'm just doing this high score challenge run to show you an example of which medals to choose as your main damage dealers, so you don't waste a bunch of attack boost three maxes. So I don't have to use Jack and Sally here. There's no points. Um, I shouldn't have swiped there. I should keep one as high HP as possible. But I do want to use Kyrie to restore my SP. Again, this is not idea because it is taken away from my other hits landing. But 53,000 is pretty much done. There's nothing. Even if I didn't activate my skills there, one hit equals 53,000 on Zigbar B, which is insane. So he would have to have at least two and a half HP bars. So no matter what I do with Zigbar in this situation because he's so powerful, all of his hits are not going to land. And especially the beginning guys, not more than one hit's going to land no matter how much HP I leave for this guy right here. So no matter what I do here, only one hit's going to land. I can stop times two buffing, times six buffing, which would probably let more than one hit land. But the difference in the score is not going to be that crazy different from that second attack because I'm still missing out on four attacks. So this is the room which makes a difference. When I attack the helicopter fleets with the Zigbar setup, I'm going to do a lot more damage and score. So the score is going to look a lot better from this point than when I do my second run. Or when you see this score, 15 million. So I'm going to go all out here. Uh, SP doesn't matter. My Bell and Beast are supposed to have uh, set SP gauge 1, but if you guys watch my previous videos, you'll understand why they don't have it. I screwed up. I learned my lesson. Hopefully, I can get it fixed. If not, oh well, it's my loss. But this setup definitely with Zigbar, you can take down everything. Everything here is possible. Um, it might not be possible with you guys because you don't have uh, two times three buffers. Uh, you don't need a Jack and Sally. If you have a Kyrie and if you have two Kyries and you didn't fuse them together, just use two Kyries. Take away the Jack and Sally you see on my setup here and then put another times three buffer there. Or if you got Pooh with times four buff, put a times four buffer there with a times three so you have a seven times buff. Do whatever you guys gotta do to get that extra strength buff because that's gonna make a difference in your score 100%. So try to fit two medals in there that will make your 
strength, go above times three. But again, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you the difference between a single hitter and a multiple hitter. So I'm gonna still go all out on this. I'm gonna hit as much as I can with my main damage dealer and see what happens. I could be totally wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. Zigbar B being as strong as he is, having that general defense down, be able to take down everything without a problem with the proper buffs. It makes sense to use him, but I'm going to show you guys there's a big difference when it comes to using metals like that versus metals that have a single hit. So for these guys here, I had a problem with my last one. I could make 16 million easier with my first run through, but I hit 15 million 928 thousand. The reason for that is that I had all those buff muddles in the wrong place. So my Jack and Sally was doing more damage and he actually took out one of the enemies and my main damage dealer wasn't able to finish him off. So technically I probably could have a score of 16 million. Now take into mind here that my Zigbar B has an attack boost 3 max and the other heavy hitter I use only has an attack boost 2 max. So right there, if I don't hit a score of more than 15,928,000, you guys have already seen the difference from a single hitter to a multiple hitter. So right now we're at 10 million and we only got a couple enemies left. So this isn't looking too good right now for Zigbar. Even though Zigbar is super powerful, his six hits is letting us down majorly. We're gonna I think there's the visible and a hammer, or did we already defeat the hammer? We got two more enemies after this one. So, again, I can take down my strength buffs so more of these hits land. That would make sense. But I'm squeezing a score that's not going to really make that too much of a difference. I can just do the one times three buff and then carry on and see what my score turns out. I'll play that after this video. If I end up doing that, I'll leave in the description. As this video is uploading, I'll say in the description, okay, my new score is this when I didn't do time six strength buff. So Zigbar B's hits actually landed. Like I got more than one hit here, which equals I'd probably be at 13 mil for more than one hit hits because I'm using too much strength here. And what I mean by that is, let's say right here, let's say I use one illustrated belly beast, then I swipe with this one, swipe with my Jack and Sally. I'm gonna get some SP back here with these two metals just so I don't run out of SP. It doesn't do too much damage, and then that way Zigbar will actually land more than one hit. So he landed three hits there, that equals more of a score. So I could do that through this whole run through, but judging by the score already guys, I missed a lot of points. I missed a lot of points because I had to try to sacrifice my strength versus how much I'm actually dishing out. So I can't do time six strength on this setup because Zigbar does way too much damage. I'm probably missing about, I would say 600, 700,000 of a score, maybe maybe more or less, but that's what we're looking at. We're looking at about 15 million on the dot. So my other setup did better. Again, this wasn't perfectly clean. I didn't do it properly, like I said. Um, the time three buffer shouldn't have been time six because that was way too much power for Zigbar. But right here, guys, you can see 14,982,000. That's one million difference. And that's because Zigbar B does multiple hits. Yes, he does so much damage, but this next metal only does one, and I only have an attack boost two max on him. I only have an attack boost two max on my other metal. Now, let me show you what I actually did. Here's a setup I actually use for this run. I use Zaldan B. I know a lot of you guys don't have Zaldan B, especially Guilted. But as you guys can see, attack boost 2 max, not attack boost 3 max, and that will make a difference on my score. The reason being is he's a 4.71 multiplier, and he's 100% guilted. All the same thing, just like my Zigbar B. 100%, but his multiplier is lower. He's got a lower multiplier, and he's got 6 hits. He deals 6 hits, Zaldan B, inflicts more damage when set in slot 5. It does 1 hit so that means the lower enemies will get the full bonus of a score so when we go in there i'm gonna show you an example real quick all right just in case all that was a little too confusing i'm gonna show you a little quick setup on the first enemies zaldin uh zigbar b here is going to be my main one for my damage dealer he's got six hits so the beginning guys right here we're going to keep one of them alive and use zigbar b and then zaldin b 
So we're gonna tap with my Bell and Beast. Jackie Saw is gonna take a one. Iago's gonna swipe. And then Kyrie's gonna take a one, so I leave one alive. So my main damage dealer can actually do its effect on it. So it's gonna multiply all its damage. I got a score of 40,093 with Zigbar B. That's because Zigbar B only one hit landed. So I'm only multiplying my bonus score by just that one hit instead of the whole multiplier. Now I'm gonna get my Zelda B, which only does one hit. He only does one hit, guys. So all his multiplier is gonna go into the score. So we're looking at 40,092. 40,092. Zaldan B, guys, your mind is about to be blown if you don't know this already. If you know this already, then it's not that important to you guys. But here we go. Bell and Beast. Jack and Sally takes out one. Iago does a swipe. Kairi takes out another one. And then Zaldan B. So we're looking at 40,094, 92, whatever I said. Doesn't matter. 40,880. And it just gets worse from there, guys. You're only losing 800 score off this one. But when you hit the tougher enemies and you're taking them out with one single hit, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of score missing. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, guys. You saw the difference. I didn't do that run perfectly. So before in the comments, you'd be like, well, it wasn't fair. You times six strength when you weren't supposed to. But the score stands right there, guys. I'm gonna do another quick run through, cut it out right here and show you. I'm gonna do exactly perfect with Zigbar B and then show you a better score than probably 14,922,000 because I'm not using a fully times 6 buff. I'm only going to use a times 3 buff or no buff at all. I'll be right back. Alright, so I did that run through one more time. I don't want to put you guys through it. Um, just to show you, even though I didn't even do a perfect the run through, I showed you guys. I made it similar to what I did with the other one. I fully buffed. I went all out with the Zelda B. But with Zigbar B, I wasn't able to go all out. And when I held back my buffs, I ended up with a score of 15,056,000. I did this a couple times to make sure this was the the area, and this is the area. It's 15,126,000. You're looking at if you use Zigbar B versus a metal that does a single hit like Zaldan B. So even if you guys don't have Zaldan B, bring in a metal like Hercules and Phil. Because Hercules and Phil is going to be able to take out enemies in the beginning, with one single swipe, especially because he's AoE, he's going to do it to everybody. That's going to increase your score straight from the beginning and then try to take down the bigger guys with them. I don't know if it's possible with Hercules and Phil, but just whatever your most powerful metal that does less than three hits and make sure all three hits connect. So you guys can see the difference of using a multiple hit metal versus a single hit metal. Big difference, guys. Even though Zaldan B, he does... One single hit, or sorry, even though Zigbar B lowers the target's general defense and he's super, super strong, because he does six hits in high score challenges, that's a bad thing. Out of high score challenges, Zigbar B is more powerful than Zaldan B when it comes to hitting every type of color of enemies, but inside hit high score challenges, single hit medals are king. Makes a huge difference as you guys can see. I tweaked it as much as I could back and forth and I could not reach 15,928,000 with Zigbar. It's just that much of a difference guys. It's incredible. And on top of it, as I reminded you guys, my Zigbar B has attack boost 3 max and my Zaldan B has attack boost 2. So right there, I'm missing more power, guys. Way more power. Attack boost 2 max compared to my attack boost 3 max. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, let's you understand high score challenges to a basic and try to see if you guys can change your gameplay. Even though he is a speed and he's not super effective to all enemies, he still did a better job at getting me a bigger score. Just because he did one powerful hit that's all you gotta do is find one metal that has one powerful hit and you're able to pass the high score challenge with it. You gotta make sure your metal's strong enough to take down those helicopter fleets. If it's not strong enough to take down the helicopter fleets, then you're not gonna get a good score because you can't defeat the whole thing. But if you find one metal like Zaldan B, very good candidate, it's gonna make the world of a difference in your score, guys. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can do a better score in your high score challenge with this information. Um, again, it's not a free to play guide, but it's a guide that will help a lot of people. people. Especially people who don't know this kind of trick here that gets you that much more of a score. 
So let me know in the comments what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.